What's up guys and welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus and today we're going to be continuing on here in the spooky scary swamp. In the last episode we did this area right over here. We're now going to move over to Piranha Lake. I want to try to get as much done as I possibly can today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this should be good. Just trying to figure out how to get around this place really. Looks like there is some stuff up here but uh oh. Um, let me hide here for now. Does he ever move? Uh huh. Buddy. Okay then. Well, do I have to do this the hard way? Ah, that, that didn't work. Ah, okay. Using the environment to my advantage. There, jeez, you jerk. Let's go on through to a grave undertaking. <laughs> Sounds good. So like I said, I'm probably gonna be doing as much as I can to make these videos a little longer. I've been, you know, a lot of people have been asking for more of this and I really do appreciate it. I've been trying to get to it. All right, oh, oh no, evil ghost cats. <laughs> Oh no, what? Come on, game. I pressed the circle button. Luckily, I have that nice move so that I don't even have to deal with that. Like, I don't even lose a horseshoe. That's pretty good. I'm so glad we got that vault just because of that. Speaking of vaults, I see one in the distance over there. Sly, hmm. you'd better be on your guard here. My paranormal scanners show this place is really haunted. Oh no. I mean, something being haunted is already scary enough, but when it's really haunted, that's when things get super scary. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of ghost cats here. That was very interesting. When you smash that gravestone, the ghost stopped coming. It must be some kind of ghost generator. Maybe if you smash them all, you'd be safe. How sensible is a ghost generator? I mean, <laughs> it just sounds silly, right? All right, well, I'll be on my toes as much as I can for more vials today because, of course, if one vault can help us so very much, like the water vault, then I'm guessing there's many more to find that can be just as helpful. I mean, the first time I ever played this game, I basically ignored the clues for the most part. I didn't find most of them. And because of that, I feel like I had a much harder time playing through the game. I mean, there's a lot of times where I'm failing miserably here, but it was much harder. I remember having an impression that this you know, area in this game in general was super duper tough. Now it's tough, but it's definitely not as crazy. All right, I'm trying to just sort of pace my way through here. Now we can turn around and snag this. Don't think I didn't see it. All right, so I did notice some stuff sort of floating around here. Like up there, you see it? I can only assume that we come back to this area because obviously th there didn't seem to be anywhere else we could go. Whew. Okay, let's, whoa, whoa, oh geez, they're pulling a Crash Bandicoot on me here. With the flame stuff now. Okay, ready, jump, jump. Oh, nice, okay. Now what's gonna go on here? Oh, there's more ghost spawners. And this time, I'm all out of horseshoes, so I gotta be okay with this. Oh, gotta be fast. Okay, go, 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 go. Yes, okay, I got them all. I just gotta take care of these guys. Nice, that was actually not badly done. We actually were able to handle that pretty well. Hmm, all right. I'm just sort of looking around, making sure we're not missing anything we don't need to miss, right? All right, let's hop up here. And it looks like, first off, free life, we need to get that. Six lives is actually pretty good. That's more than we normally have. Ooh, a lot of stuff here. We have 40 clues to get, so getting every single one of them will be quite the challenge. But we're doing it. We're trying it here. Almost halfway through. Now we can go the proper way. Hmm, ooh, did I get the wrong way? Nope, he can fit. He is a skinny one, I guess, Sly. Hmm. All right, go. Oh, geez. <laughs> this is scary. Just gotta keep going. Come on, uh, oh, 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 eh, 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 uh, I feel like I should keep going to check. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any clues, no. All right then, now we gotta go the opposite way. Ooh, eh, uh, 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 eh, eh. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, what is, oh, this is something I can climb, I see. All right, cool, well, let's take care of that. Did I miss anything down there? That's where we entered from. So things seem okay right now. What am I on top of? I really don't even know. <laughs> Just try to, you know, it's hard to get a grip of your surroundings around here. It's just a little tough. But it looks like now we have a ledge to jump on. All right, let's go. Ooh. Oh, boy. All right, then. So, okay. I'm looking for seekers. I'm worried like something's just going to sneak on by me. Or that could happen. All right. See, that wasn't so hard. Now jump, jump. There you go. Okay, you know what's weird is that some of these levels are so prominent in my memory, like I really, really do remember them. But the other ones, like this one, I completely just forgot about. Like I don't remember this level at all. Like did I even play it? I mean, it's like this is a game, oh darn it. Luckily we got a checkpoint right there, but this is a game where you have to play, you know, 
all the levels, you know, there's, like, I don't think there's any levels you can really skip. I'm so bad at fighting these dudes. Very bad at fighting. I have a problem knowing how far away the target is in this game. I feel like that's probably my biggest fault so far, is that sort of like the distance to peripheral vision can be a little tough at times. Like this dude. This guy is not pleasant, but I was able to get him there. Hmm. Now here it appears we have a few ways to go. This sort of seems like a secret area, so I'm gonna sort of sneak along here, go on the crocodile head. Oh, here we go, here we go. And boom, three free vials. Is that it? Yeah, this is where it sort of ends. All right then, so when it comes to getting over there, we'll just have to do it some other way, some other means of transportation. Well now, let's just go back this way. Now we got more of this stuff. Ooh, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> okay, go over here and jump, jump. Oh. All right. All right, cool stuff, cool stuff. Hmm, get these two vials, and is this a, what is this? Oh, I guess it's a gravestone. Oh wow, we're in like a gigantic, what thing was buried that needs that big of a gravestone? Oh geez, okay. Before we go ahead and, oh geez. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, before we get these vials, I need to go and take th those guys out. Now I did, ever so successfully. We should be good now. And then we're getting closer to that vault, so hopefully we're finding everything proper. Oh geez, these guys are tough though, because the way they attack, it's just sort of hard to keep up with. Luckily, we are close to another horseshoe. We just gotta keep going. Oh, I see this over here. There you go. Um, what is that noise? Oh no! Okay, uh, 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 just keep swiping. Just keep swiping. Ah! <laughs> and hey, look, another one. Nice. Okay, that'll be good. Now, don't get hurt and lose it right away. That would be pleasant. Look at that in the background, though. Big old skull. That's just so creepy. Like, are there really that big things? that were at that point, or one point out here. All right, so um, there's the key. Obviously, we don't wanna be taking that right now, so I'll have to be careful here to like, take this stuff out, run over here, and where did that other pole lead to? Cause wasn't there two poles there? Huh, I swear that there was like a second one. Maybe it was just sort of a visual thing, and I saw this, and I thought it was another one, cause I swear it was like a two path thing. I guess I was wrong. Hmm, let's just go over here. And and then there's another horseshoe. Now we got a golden one. Now will this give us five? Please give us five. That's four. That is four. No, come on. <laughs> All right, I actually jumped down there and backtracked the level, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So it has to be somewhere up there, and that's sort of hard to get up to because it's like a slide. So, darn. I don't know how we missed it, but we missed it. I don't know where it is. I looked all over the place, high and low, so it has to be in that little alcove there, but there's one level done, the Swamp's Dark Center. Now I'm just gonna go and do the other level. Now I think this other level is actually a little bit easier to get to, like we can't go through here just yet. Like, I think, yeah, it just won't even let us go through. We need to go over here, as you can see, and sort of deal with this, we're sort of, ew, we're like are these connecting bones. The one bone connects to the other bone, the other one connects over the rat's head. All right, <laughs> let's go through Piranha Lake, that sounds fun. Who doesn't want a just nice little family trip to Piranha Lake? Oh my. Sly, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Well, that was oddly complex. Uh, so we gotta run over fishies, like fish, right? No, I can I, oh, they're hard to catch though. So I need to run over fishies and then, I'm sorry fishies, but then I can light a torch. Oh, that's, that's sensical. I, I can make sense of this. Well, we got one done this. We need to get all 20. I don't remember these missions at all. What game was I playing? It was obviously Sly 1, but I mean, come on now. Why don't I remember any of this craziness? All right, um, right, let's keep getting more. We only have a minute and a half left. We got seven out of 25. We need to be a little bit faster here. Now that I've gotten used to it a little bit, should it be easier to handle, right? Let's see, boop, and then boop, and then boop. And then, ooh. all right, 12 to 25, that's not quite halfway through, but after this one, we'll, we'll be over halfway through. These fishies, they move so fast, it's hard to get them. All right, so basically, I need to light torches while I'm trying to catch fishies. 
because that way I can uh, get them all. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> all right. Ooh. And then, okay, okay. Get that. No, I missed. Oh, missing is not in the forte right now. Get that one. 17 out of 25. We have 40 seconds left. So we need to make the most of this time. And I, this is fun though. Like I can see how this is pretty cool. You know, oh, got that one. The range is pretty decent, decent enough. All right, 20 out of 25, we need five more. Which means we need five more fishies. All right, there's two more there. Ooh, boop, boop. Okay, I know where the next two are. I'm missing one though, though. I'm not sure the, the whereabouts. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, no, there's one. Where's this next one at? Oh, I'm not sure. It could be anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Uh, I don't know where they are. I don't know. Um, oh, there they are, there they are. I found both of them, but I only have five seconds. Wait, wait, wait. No, I wasted it, no! <laughs> all right, I have all the shots I need. I just need to find the tiki torches. Here's one, here's the other. Okay, not bad that time. Now that I know what to do going into it, I can figure it out a little bit better, but we can go up here, dock our little thing, and then there you go. We get the key in what is one of the weirdest missions yet. Hooray! All right, there we go, we're back. Now what do we do here? Let's see. When I go back, and I think we can continue on to the next area. I don't know where we're like, we're stationing these keys at though. Like, I don't know where we're supposed to put them. So I have to find that out. But I think we got, yeah, we got all the keys in this area. It's just trying to find our way to the next area. Aha, here we go, here's something. This is in the opposite direction as what I was thinking, but, oh, hi! What are you up to? Um, oh. Okay, great. You know, I need a vacation. <laughs> oh, now he's back from me. He wants me as lunch. Oh, no, 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 okay, good. He just never minded me this time. <laughs> cool, so now we can go through the store, which is exactly what I wanted. Whoa, oh, okay then, Spider, you wanna go? Here we went, and I won. What's happening here? This is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I could unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Will do. I like that idea. It's, it's very cool. It's starting to get really cool with the stealth mechanics, which I like a lot. Now we can go through here, and we just gotta get more levels done. We have plenty of time to get some more done today. Descent into danger is our next one. Oh boy. Okay, destroy all of this, get these coins, and then, ooh, okay, we need to get all 40 vials. It's, I'm not letting anything else happen. Waterfall overflowing of bones and body parts. I'm telling you, the health department's going to come down big time on this dump. <laughs> yeah, I think that they'll just turn all of the health department into frogs. Oh, I didn't even know he was looking down here. Okay, see ya, buddy. <laughs> Can I get up there? I probably could and should. Yep, just like that. And then I can, ah, I see, I think. Maybe I don't see. Hey, hey, don't be shooting at me. Uh, ow, that hurt. How can I get up there? Just like that. I don't know if I'm cheating here. I may or may not be cheating. <laughs> I'll come back to this stuff. Um, Because it looks like there definitely is some overhead stuff we gotta get to. But I'm glad I got that stuff done while I could. Ow, the spiky logs not being very pleasant. Hmm. We just gotta keep going. Go back from once we came, just like that. And let's get started with this. Um, well, what in the world is that thing? Ah, oh, it's throwing its flame head, and it keeps on spawning new flame heads. That's not pleasant. Okay, go over here, and then, whoa, whoa. How do you beat this? <laughs> That's so odd. <laughs> I love it, but it's really odd. Hmm, can we break this? Yes, we can, cool. I'm gonna have to earn up another horseshoe, actually two of them, because I lost both of them. Ooh, what is this over here? I guess this is where we're supposed to go, or is this a little secret? Oh, we go down here. I was like, what? Is the game broken? Hmm. You know, I'd this. Like, I don't know, are these bones for decor? I don't understand. <laughs> All right, take care of you. And then, yeah, it looks like now we get to be on top of things, so that's cool. Yep, oh, oh, nice. All right, it always feels so good when you can like, per, you know, like perfectly platform from thing to thing. Unlike that, will I be brought back up? Nope, I'm dead. Why did I die there? I guess because if I don't have a horseshoe, I die? That's interesting. All right, I earned these, give them to me, give them to me. 
You know, a lot of this area is starting to remind me more and more, oh geez, these lights that are too hard to see. Uh, the, more of this area is starting to remind me of Crash Bandicoot, like these, these rocks we're standing on sort of look like something out of Crash Bandicoot. Like these sort of like, I don't know how to explain, like cavemen, jungle kind of thing. Okay, before we uh, do that, we gotta get back over here because I missed a few clues. Give me those, 18, 19 out of 20, okay. We're making our way there and slowly but surely, we will have a fully answered clue, hopefully. <laughs> get only hope. All right, go over there, nice, okay. Now we can get up here if we want. Hmm, this is odd, but it should work just like that, and then curse the lamb on you. Uh-oh, will this guy see me? Nope. <laughs> he must not have good ear and, or ear sight hearing. <laughs> I got ear sight and eyesight confused. One of those things isn't real. Okay, 25 out of 40, not too bad. I don't know how to get back up. <laughs> well, I wanted to let her talk, and in the meantime, I got stuck. I guess I gotta do that again? That'd be ridiculous if I had to backtrack all that. All right, back in the action, getting ourselves a free horseshoe. Boom. Hmm, what is going, is this all light right here? I guess it is. All right, let's go across here. Very slowly here, gotta keep the pacing. Keep the pacing, <laughs> look at that little tiptoe action. All right, go across now. I guess that's all lighting, interesting. Hmm, is this goop? I think this is unspeakable ooze. All right, there you go. No, I, sp I jumped in the ooze. I didn't lose anything for it, luckily, but I did jump in that ooze. Look at all the security. This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup. Ew, green soup. Okay, can you stop with the head throwing, thanks. Let me get rid of the lights. That'll make all this a little bit more of a breeze. Now I just gotta dodge this head thrower over here. I don't know what the, like these candles, oh the candles actually open up a path for us. Okay, cool. Then I can just smack you in the face. Fun. Hmm. All right, nothing's better than getting due revenge, right? That's why it's always fun to beat up the bosses. All right, let's get up here. And, ooh, timing. <laughs> good enough, good enough. And then let's smack you before you can even properly turn around. So things are turning out a little bit better here in this portion of the level. Let's hope they continue that way as we only need two more vials. Can only help, whoa, here we go. Okay, and jump, oh no, oh geez, that couldn't have been closer, but we do get both of them, and now we can get these coins and oh, open this bad boy up. Or not, there you go. These codes are nothing before my righteous analytical ability. The combination has to be five, seven, one. Alrighty, then let's open up 571 and see what's inside. I can't wait to see. Let's open it up and find out together. It is. Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. Excuse me? What do you mean a tingling sensation? Okay then, let's uh, continue on. We'll, we'll try our best to roll into people, but not sure how often that's gonna happen. Now we're just sliding through everything we already had, I guess. Whoa, and boom, there's our key. Also, <laughs> that was a pretty cool level overall. Nice. And you can see there on the bottom left, we are 50% through the game, at least if we were shooting for 100%, which we're not. But hey, it sort of gives a good marker on how far we are in the game. All right, hmm, now we are back. I think we have enough time for just about one more level for today. Then we're gonna scoot on over here. Go, 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 go. And we'll just sort of do it piece by piece. Our next level is right over here. And what is, oh, it's another mode. Oh, I remember this thing, a ghastly voyage. That vehicle seems to be outfitted with some sort of high energy cannon. Use the left analog stick to move and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another. Oh, this'll be fun. <laughs> I remember this one. This one was a lot of fun. 
This is like, I don't know, it's the twin stick shooter we saw earlier, but now it's just at a different angle. It's just a lot more fun. It feels like like, like, a, like a Disney ride. Ever been on like one of the Disney rides where you get to sit in the chair and like shoot stuff? It's like that, but Sly Cooperified and dead. Or not, um, there you go, there's my uh, horseshoe gun. Hopefully I get another one of those soon, because doing this without taking a hit at all might be a little bit difficult. I actually have to shoot through his barrier. Sneaking up behind me now, this is not cool. So the probably the problem was here is that you can actually destroy these things so that the cats stop spawning. Didn't realize. Okay, can we shoot this one from so far? Whoa, okay. Be careful, be careful. Come on, keep shooting it, keep shooting it, keep shooting it. He's almost down, there you go, cool. <laughs> we can also spin around like a maniac. Stop this crazy thing, I feel like a Beyblade. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wonder how many people will get that reference too. I feel like I've been getting a lot of references in this series that I'm not sure how many people will get them. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's uh, uh, destroy some of this. Oh boy. Oh, do we get to go on our? Oh, we're on our own accords now. I think you can actually get a lot of coins in this level if you really are diligent enough with it. From my knowledge, just what I remember at the least. Oh, well, we're gonna destroy everything we can then. Oh, like all these candles and these head things. Sure. All right. Ooh, excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, and just destroy this stuff too. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> There's just so much. Okay then. This might be actually a good place to earn up some lives then. The least here. Take care of that, nice, and get these. Let me go back and make sure there's not anything else I missed. Hmm. Okay, so these candles don't give you anything, unfortunately. That's fine, though. And now we got, uh-oh, we got the spawners, the kitty cat spawners. Why are they evil? Why, like, who, who made all these kitty cats into ghosts? You know, it's like, those poor cats. I'm sure they didn't ask for this. They just wanted to be cats, they wanted milk, and to lick their fern, and to play with yarn. They don't need none of this. <laughs> need the cats out of this. This is between Coopers and crocodiles. All right, take care of all this stuff. Ooh, and we're good. <laughs> all right, now let's back it up. Okay, we got everything here. No problem, no problem. Let's see. Uh, I love these masks. Sort of look like the, like the Majora's mask, even though I haven't really played that game. I sort of recognize that at the least. <laughs> it's a pretty popular symbol. So, hmm. Let's go over here and take care of that cat. I just need to destroy some of these guys. Like, you don't have your protection anymore. You can take care of that. Whoa, be careful, buddy. A little too close. A little too close indeed. My paranormal scanner, that flowing soup is really highly charged ectoplasm. It's just got to be the source of power for those headstone generators. Oh, great. Well, I guess we'll have to take it out, too. That's all I got from that. Do the thing, Sly. Do the thing. <laughs> it's really what all of his lines should say sometimes. Do it! Sly things do! Oh, they, now they're sh shooting from way over there. Watch out, jeez. Okay, we do that. Dodge just a little bit. It's actually a lot easier to, <laughs> a lot easier to handle than I remember. I can tell you that much. Like I remember this level just being like stuck on it forever. I don't know. Hmm, let's see. And take care of you just like that, boom. I mean, maybe we haven't gotten to the hard part yet. I have no clue. I'll just run over here. Take care of some of these barriers. Oh boy. Don't be throwing all that stuff at me. Come on now. Ooh, and there's our golden one. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can't keep and get a few extra lives out of this, because I definitely need them at this point. Yeah. And then take care of that too. And more coins. Hmm. Okay, now what's going on here? This is a little crazy. Oh, there's just gonna be a bunch of cats, huh? So I guess I gotta focus it one down one at a time. Because if I don't, it'll just be a lot to juggle constantly and I'll just sort of be working uphill. Oh, there you go. Do that, and then let's take care of this one on the left next. Or any of them, really. If I can take care of this one in the center, cool. Here, there you go, cool, that one was actually easier, so. Probably should have done that one first. Here, take this out, it's almost down, and boom, nice, all right. Let's get as many coins as we can here. If we can get a few extra lives, that'd be awesome. I don't think we are at this point. And, oh, no, it's forcing me to be done. Fine, I'll take your key. Are you happy now? I got it. Alrighty then, so we've made some pretty good progress in today's episode. With that being said, in the next episode, we'll continue on and probably fight the boss for this area, but for now, we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Rat, so I know you've watched the end of the video and not your A-Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.